The topic of today's presentation is identification of modern facial emotion recognition models. Facial emotion recognition, or simply RER, is quite new and fast-growing area of computer vision. Its main task is to identify what kind of emotion a person feels using his her facial expression. As an area of computer vision, the use of neural networks looks quite promising for this task, because convolutional networks show good results in other tasks. Many of the public networks are pre-trained, therefore the question of using transfer learning for FER task arises. This will reduce the uncertainty of researchers when choosing a machine learning model and significantly speed up and increase the efficiency of experience in the field of FER. Uh, therefore, the issue of transferring skills from other domains is rather little studied and promising. The aim of the work is to research the possibility of neural network and transfer learning technology applying to FER problems. The goals of the work are choose a dataset based on it, plan and perform experiment, the results of which will allow to formulate an effective algorithm for neural network identification and usage within the framework of FER task, to determine which architecture of neural network is better to use as a backbone for FER task in different situations, to compare the effectiveness of face recognition-based backbones with standard solutions for transfer learning. First of all, let's describe a dataset. Dataset FER2013 contains grayscale images of faces which are shown on the slide. Their size is uh, 48 by 48 pixels. These images have been created using an automatic face registration, so the faces on them are centered and occupy nearly the same amount of space in each image. To evaluate the performance of different ML models, we have chosen a set of metrics. They are accuracy on the training set, loss on the training set, accuracy and loss on validation set, initial accuracy and loss, mean conference rate, mean overfitting length. The formulas for metrics are presented on the slide. In order uh, to evaluate the effectiveness of transfer learning, we compared several popular architectures, such as VGG phase, Open face, ResNet, MobileNet. Uh, you can see uh, architectures of face recognition based model on the slide. Our hypothesis is that since the task of face recognition is uh, in some way similar to FER, therefore the weights of neural networks will already contain the necessary features that will increase the learning performance. We also choose ResNet 50 and MobileNet trained on ImageNet dataset because uh, they are standard choices as a backbone in transfer learning. In these networks, uh, the last layer was excluded and all layers except last four were frozen. To compare the effectiveness of transfer learning, we trained uh, neural networks in two versions, with pre-training traits and with randomly initialized traits. This uh, approach allows us to determine how and uh, at what stage uh, the pre-training uh, affects uh, the efficiency of the model. So, let's proceed to obtain results. Figures below show the accuracy and loss during training of mobile net and open face. As we can see, for both networks, uh, pre-training affects greatly on network's performance during its learning process. The same trend remains uh, within the process of training of larger networks such as ResNet 50 and VGG Face. The graphs of their training processes are shown below. On this slide we can see the initial accuracy and initial loss of each network. Accuracy is higher for pre-trained networks and face recognition based models show better initial performance, so their weights are more suitable for FER task. Let's look deeper of classification results. Figures below show the results of image classification from a tested by various networks. An image with emotion label is on the left, and a bar plot with neural network prediction is on the right.
The best model in terms of initial and final accuracy on the validation set is VGG phase pre-trained. Therefore, its phases are initially best suitable for the FER task. But in our experiment, this model had the worst performance in terms of convergence rate. Uh, that is why for its training, other hyperparameters should be used, for example, uh, to increase the learning rate or to add uh, more dense classification layers. The second model for phase detection, open phase, show a level of accuracy comparable to the standard solution in transfer learning, ResNet 50, but at the same time it has fewer parameters, therefore it fits and predicts faster. Open half phase has nearly 4 millions of parameters and ResNet uh, 50 about uh, 24 million of parameters. Mobile net has uh, fewest number of parameters, about uh, 3 million, but its uh, performance is lower than open phase. Also, open phase has the highest convergence rate and overfit range in comparison with other models. The purpose general algorithm can be formulated so. During preprocessing stage, apply the phase detection model to the image. Next, apply various augmentation to images. During training stage, select a backbone model. If speed is more important within the task and there is enough data for training, recommend choosing open phase. If the quality of recognition is more important and there are not enough resources for full model training, Choose VGG phase. Freeze all uh, layers of network uh, for training and add fully connected layers on top of them. Select hyperparameters and start the learning process with them. As a result of the research, the aim and goals of the work were reached. We formulated an effective algorithm for neural network identification and usage within the framework of FER task. Determine which architectures of neural networks was better to use as a backbone for FER task in different situations. Compare the effectiveness of face recognition based backbones with standard solutions for transfer learning. We found one of the most popular datasets for FER task. FER uh, 2013. While analyzing its structure, we found out that it was quite unbalanced. On the one hand, it's a drawback, because models will learn uh, how to distinguish minor class rows. But on the other hand, it will show how model will work uh, with, uh, with real-world dataset that are often unbalanced. Uh, then we define a K matrix for analysis of neural network during learning. Uh, purpose matrix shown an effective efficiency of transfer learning for each architecture and uh, determine uh, what trained weights are most suitable for FER task and lead to faster convergence and less of an fitting speed. The obtained results show only general performance of the networks because they were all trained under the same conditions, and the best set of hyperparameters was not selected. Based on the analysis of experimental results, we recommend using the algorithm purposed in this article with pre-trained VGG phase. Also, under the condition of limited resources and the use of regularization methods, we recommend open phase as an alternative. But we also recommend specifically setting up the classifier for each specific task separately, because this will give a gain in quality. For deeper analysis of the efficiency of neural networks, it is necessary to perform a deeper study, which is not the purpose of this work. It includes uh, testing a large class of architectures on a large number of datasets using various types of classifiers for embeddings, including those not based on neural networks. That's all. Thank you for your attention.